Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include Brexit or Brimfluence EU financial transaction tax will hit FX users hard MPs call for public to have their say European Union approves harsher punishments for cyber crimes plus European Commission approves 114 million aid for extension to Greek Piraeus port. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, a trio of politicians declared their support for Britain's membership of the European Union. Peter Mandelson, a former Labour Party minister, Ken Clark, a Conservative Party minister and former Chancellor, and Danny Alexander, the Liberal Democrat Chief Secretary to the Treasury, unveiled the manifesto of British Influence, a new campaign group far from leaving Europe, Britain should be leading Europe, it proclaimed. The enthusiastically pro-European language echoed an earlier, simpler time, in 1975, when Britons voted in referendum to remain in the European Economic Community, the EU's precursor. Such talk was the norm. Businesses, commentators, conservatives and the sensible wing of Labour lined up to advocate staying in Europe. Margaret Thatcher, later an arch-Eurosceptic as Prime Minister, joined in sporting a fetching woolen jumper depicting the flags of the member states. So, let's get this right. The Danny Clarkelson Troika are proposing that Britain engaging fully and more deeply with the European Union. Now the EU, and indeed Mr Verhofstadt and Barroso, talk of more democracy through fiscal and political union, essentially a European superstate. So what Mr Mandelson, Clark and Alexander are proposing is the complete handing over of control and sovereignty to a foreign power. There's a word for that. Ah yes, it's treason. A proposed EU financial transaction tax could discourage use of the foreign exchange market by typically raising costs of doing business by up to 700%, a report said on Monday. The report by the Global Financial Markets Association said that due to double-sided nature of proposed tax, transaction costs for pension funds would increase by around 1,500% and they could reach as high as 4,700% for some F FX products, such as those that involve short-dated swaps with a very low transaction cost. Well, of course, lots of numbers and financial concepts there, but what does it really mean? The key words are pension funds and tax. This financial instrument provides a vehicle for the state to tax wealth from citizens' pension pots, and it does so by levying against every transaction your pension fund provider makes. Conservative MPs have led calls for the public to have their say in a referendum on whether Britain should remain in the European Union. James Wharton, whose bill proposes a vote by 2017, said he was speaking for millions of people in the country. He said public sentiment about Europe had changed and fresh consent for the UK's membership was long overdue. Labour said the Tories were talking to themselves, while the Lib Dems branded the bill a complete stunt. <laughs> That's just brilliant. Our purported democratic Lib Lab Con feel there is no value in inviting the British public to make choices about their future and governance. Perhaps a little conceited, wouldn't you say? Hackers who carry out cyber attacks against EU member states will face stiffer consequences in the coming years thanks to a decision reached by European Union lawmakers on Thursday. As part of the new rules, perpetrators will face at least two years behind bars for unlawfully accessing information systems. That sentence jumps to five years if critical infrastructure like power plants, public transportation or government servers are targeted. The rules also forbid the illegal interception of communications, interfering with data and the production and sale of tools that could assist with those endeavours. 
The European Commission has found in favour of a 113.9 million Greek support for infrastructure project of 120 million euros at the port of Piraeus to be in line with EU state aid rules. In particular, the project will further the objectives of EU transport policy and cohesion without unduly distorting competition in the internal market. In September 2012, Greece notified plans to support an investment project by OLP, the Port Authority, to extend existing infrastructure for cruise ships at the Port of Piraeus by two docking stations. The project is co-financed with £96.9 million from EU structural funds. Well, the Greek people can stop rioting and burning German flags outside the government building in Athens now, then. With unemployment at nearly 30%, thousands living in squats, and a brand new round of austerity threatening another huge proportion of society, I can't see why the Greek people find the EU so unpopular. I mean, they're going to build you a new port, so the Bruswellian kleptocrats will have somewhere nice to park the super yachts, whilst ex-Greek health service consultant surgeons serve them with olives and tiramisu. Today in our video library, the European Union has confirmed that projects in Israel, settlements built on occupied Palestinian land, will no longer receive funding. Benjamin Netanyahu is not a happy bunny, but EU representatives maintain that Israel is not abiding by international law and that their action is disrupting the peace process in Israel. Personally, I say it's probably better for the EU to clear up its own mess, rather than coughing up taxpayers' cash on external issues, whilst its own people live in squats and eat at soup kitchens and food banks. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the unit, Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the e Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Join us in our live Question Time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+. Links to the community page are below. <laughs>